a pro pro a couple days ago. I'm the oldest guy in the field, man. I'm, you know, and, and so I believe that this has been one of my templates that have really helped me to uh, stay young from the neck down in terms of my golf game. So anyway, so we talked about I swing on an arc. Well, here's my 20 degree arc or so to speak of the club. And here's the arc of my hands. If I just took a magic marker and I just stood here and swung, I'd swing in an arc. I didn't even do anything. I don't try to go out contrary to the turn of my pivot or my body, right? And we talked about in just the segment earlier I posted today that in impact, I was thought the face has to be square and I was unaware of my face. And I need to have my face pointed more at these dots at impact, the further away back from the tangent it is, or the left shoulder socket, that's the tangent or the center of the golf swing. From here it goes up, from here it goes up, so that's the center. So my iron I want to hit down on, so I have a three balls behind that tangent. A driver one and a half or one ball, a fairway metal and a hybrid, which I don't even use hybrids, would be two balls, okay? So because it's more of a descending ball, I like to have my wedges four balls back because I like to flight my wedges and curve them and they don't curve that much anyway because there's so much loft on them that's the beauty of wedges and short irons so now if i follow my 20 my left arm 20 degrees to the target line my right arm 20 degrees to the target line that would be my arc now all i have to do is make sure my handle leads like the four cousins but the face points at the dots if it points at this line it's physics if it points at that line you just hit a straight push that's on the green i'll take that what i don't want is the ball crossing the line and getting left of my target Okay, so I'm going to come through and just hit a little shot here, but I'm going to have my face pointed at the dots and so it doesn't cross its line. I can make a perfect swing and let the club close and pass my hands and that sucker goes to the left, right? So how I control my club face on my arc determines the tightness of my pattern, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to 20, 20, just make a little swing, but I'm going to leave with the hand with the face point at the dots, which is right of the target line or my target then i'll hit this little straight draw boom that doesn't boom boom cross its line costing out the grid